I've been smoking with 300 since I came in, because soon as I meet you for it, that motherfucker was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? We the same. We the same. Yeah. Yeah. That's J.O.N. Yeah. 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 yeah, play me a J.O.N. so we don't got a flag now. Hey, hey. Check it, J.O.N. Look. Spit one. Look, 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 look. Put this here right here. Hey, it's a bad one. Yeah. I gotta take it apart. Yeah. Come on, man. Do it for me, man. Ain't no switches, bro. That's too much preparation for me, man. God damn. Gotta run around. Lick the black. Lick the black. What the money? No football. Yeah, they don't never do it. They're right in the way it's at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about four years to quit. <laughs> I used to smoke them all. I was in full smoking them bitches. You know it. About 14, 15. I was smoking them all out of the way until I was like 18. So fuck that. <laughs> Boy, these motherfuckers backwoods. Now that's where they kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I might not smoke nothing tomorrow. I like that hard shit, though. <coughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. One more time, pull the bitches out. Side. Yeah. Two more times for the bitches in doors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more time for the hoes outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two more times for the bitches indoors. Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. I came through. You know I'm popping tags. I had so much money, had to put some in a bag. You know I'm on the ass wow. like a snake <laughs> off in the grass. I used to move slow, but now I'm moving fast. Hello, my name is Los. I'm feeling on your girl cause she let me. She had to take the hat off and she said I'm still sexy. Yeah. <laughs> I told her don't text me. Call if she ever need to come and sit next to me. Yeah, she yeah. wanna have sex with me. She got mad. That means she got upset with me. I think this bitch obsessed with me. She wanna put a breast on me. I said, you the best, homie. We didn't have no sandwich, had but the best bologna. And I'm a freak. I can take a hoe and put her all in the sheets up in the freaks. You know I got them. You know I got him. We better turn this bitch up one more time. Flip's not. Let it run it. We got another grinder. Any, yeah, is a grinder in here? Hey man, that my nigga Jay Win. Need to get his get his info. Yeah. <laughs> Let him send you a few. Yeah. 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 We trying to get him in the game. He be sneaking on the low. <laughs> he be sneaking the gig. <laughs> man, play him some of that Jay Win shit, bro. He ain't heard nothing. Some of that good. Put <clears throat> your eating music.
Let's run it. Do you ever find a blunt? Ain't nobody got no blunts? Let me roll something. Let me roll something. You good? I need mine. Yes, sir. I gotta get you the medium. I'm going to have one. So okay. One. That's that's the small. Medium. Okay. I'll hang that. We got it. Yeah. 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 I'm getting on your nerves yet. Good. Good. Shut up to here. I don't care. Doesn't matter to me any fuck. Too much. Yeah. That's like the bugs. strangest shit I've ever heard. <laughs> I feel like nigga, you grind when they trying to scratch the weed. You feel me? <laughs> man, break the blood down. Blow the dough. <laughs> nigga, like, oh man, you put too much ashes in there. <laughs> then Get you gotta go right. in, the, in the other compartment where they broke it down. At. Uh, I try to dump it out. I'm um, telling you, you done waste all the weed, and you gotta make sure when you open it up, you open it up. Everybody's rolling drugs up. Uh -huh. Nigga, I hey. thought this was the, oh, uh, that is the. My teacher said that I would be shit on drugs. But look, you bitch, I'm successful on I'm drugs. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Foot round with Well, your teacher big. really told you you wasn't gonna be shit? Yeah, and then I saw her buying some cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep. And I told that bitch, you gonna give me an A, I won't tell nobody. <laughs> she buying it from the trap. That one thing about the trap, but I love the trap, and you can find yeah, yeah, it. You, you, know, gonna, you gonna see, you gonna see uh, who really on the go. Yeah. Bruh, <laughs> yeah. I'm, like one, I'm sitting here thinking about all them teachers that really be telling students they ain't gonna be shit. Well, where you, where you what at? What the fuck is you? And, and as an adult, you just be like, come here. You ain't gonna be shit. Because they know for a fact they have some type of influence on our life because they're teaching us. What so is? they just told her that we ain't gonna be shit. We like, and I, I well, bitch, you already made it on who you wanna be. We still trying to figure out who the fuck we trying to be. And if you gonna tell me I ain't gonna be shit, 
Bitch, you might be right. What if they only tell students that that's going to be shit? I done seen a lot of students like, who they kiss. Kind of like reverse psychology. Mm. For them to have some type of motivation to, to have a, like a dream to even reach for something? I don't know. Teachers really need to stop judging people. But I don't need that bitch to tell me I ain't going to be shit for that to be my motivation. But I'm saying, some people like, really believe that shit. You're right. Teachers got to stop that. telling motherfuckers <laughs> that shit. I wasn't really the type of child that really gave a fuck what people said, though. Never. But look yeah. at this, though. So check this out. How the teacher going to tell you you ain't going to be shit? They went to school, paid attention to the teacher, got good grades, went to college, graduated, <laughs> and became a fucking teacher. <laughs> yeah. I just see, they knew I was hard-headed. I remember one time my teacher told me I wasn't going to be shit. And I said, it's cool, because your brother ain't shit right now. <laughs> that bitch sent me to the principal's office. I said, bitch, you might as well hold my hand and go with me. <laughs> Fuck you, baby. If I get suspended, your brother gets suspended. <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm supposed to be about four days. <laughs> I stayed there instead of four days. Well, what? Good four days. Mm-hmm. Good four like, you know what? Just go on home. Bro, I ain't never get in trouble in school. I used to get suspended and <clears> still <throat> come to school. I used to like, you? Bro, all the shit I did, I guess because I ain't never, like, everything I did was successfully funny. <laughs> like, I feel <laughs> like if, if most of the shit that I did wasn't funny, I wouldn't have gotten away with it. Mm-mm. So I had a teacher right now, Miss Lee, you know who exactly who the fuck you are. My ninth grade social study teacher. She would bait me in just to send me to the principal office. She'd be like, John, look at his shoe. I'm like, yeah, the motherfucker, ugly lady. She'd be like, right. Now go to the principal office. <laughs> I'm like, bitch, how can I explain this story to the principal? <laughs> be like, what you in here for? <laughs> bitch, it's a teacher fault. She pulled at a nigga's shoe, and I said something, and this bitch sent me the out. <laughs> what I'm going to do? I think she want to give me some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I got suspended for that. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Bro, I used to do everything I wanted to do in school. Me too, though. I ain't, I ain't really get in trouble for shit. Oh, I remember one time I got, one time the, um, <laughs> I almost got in trouble though. You remember when? The, or y'all probably don't remember, but I remember at one point in time on Earth, Nelly, country grandma. Was the shit? Was the coldest song ever what in the world. What grade you in? Cause I was like, I'm gonna tell you what grade. Probably I was in. 11th or 12th. Shit, I was in the third. I was in the oh, 11th or 12th. Really I mean, so we in the cafeteria one day. Right. My niggas was already from St. Louis, so we been had this CD on a single all summer. Mm. So I know the whole song, so I'm walking in the fucking cafeteria. I'm just rapping the whole song. You know, this is when a nigga was a real fan. I'm talking about every word. Right. But by the time I got my tray and came out that bitch and got to that part, put my niggas left in the slammer from St. <laughs> Louis to Memphis, from Texas back up. By the time I got to Indiana, right. the whole cafeteria, Indiana, LA! Yeah. So I, I'm way more ignorant than you is at this point. So I get dramatic with this shit. I got the whole cafeteria singing this shit. Right. The only reason I ain't getting in trouble because the lady who was in there was my fucking auntie. She was like, you are not at a fucking concert. <laughs> That was cold. Okay, I got, I got one. Oh, I one need lighter, man. That's yours. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. I remember when my people put a dead bird <laughs> on the teacher deck. Oh shit! <laughs> that bitch came in that motherfucker, man. <laughs> I ain't never seen somebody scream so loud, bro. We was in that bitch. Highland, bro. He be able screaming because of the dead bird sitting on her front door. <laughs> I used to be skipping like a motherfucker. No, you weren't there. I know what you doing. Bro, we had a teacher who had been teaching probably about 40 years. Mm -hmm. That bitch quit when my class came. I'm talking about she was giving motherfuckers so much work, didn't nothing like everybody who had, you know how they like in high school you only had like maybe one or right. two motherfuckers who teach the subject like senior like ninth grade English only right. had two teachers so when my ninth grade class came they ran all the old teachers off I'm talking about the first half of the school year everybody fell in that bitch Miss Murphy gave up one day she said I can't deal with you people this class is a three ring circus. Out of here. A girl named Creature stood up out the back and said, Miss Murphy, you the motherfucking clown. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sick of y'all ignorant bitches. That's what you want to call y'all. But I'll never forget me boat rat. Me boat rat, if you out there, you know exactly what story I'm going to tell. I was in the seventh grade. 
I'll never forget we were coming back from lunch and I seen Miss Boat right walking fast as fuck down the hallway. She like, <coughs> we like, damn, where me boat right going? Me boat right gone. Nigga, like five, ten minutes later, nigga, the word starts spreading. But you ain't heard. You ain't heard. Man, them folks put some shit on Miss Boat right this. Miss Boat right. That was the last time we ever seen Miss Boat right. Damn. We like, damn, some nope. shit. Man, some shit. Some like, doo-doo. Dookie. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga took his drama up and put Duke his things on that whole dick. Oh, man. <laughs> don't want no out of there. Y'all, y'all. Yeah, both right cool, too. Well, y'all thinking, hold on. Bro, we, I, I think I, when we were growing up, we like the suspense and just surprise. <laughs> <laughs> we like, we wonder what they would do if they see shit on their dicks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Nah. Bro, we was a wrong one. We were wild. We were wild coming up. Bruh. Growing up was crazy there, boy. In Oxford, man. You see some of wild ass. Ooh, I remember one time in school, nigga. You from Oxford? Mississippi. Oh, you had that. Bruh. Every time I mention Oxford on anything that go on the internet, it's always some niggas want to tell me about Oxford that wasn't even alive when I was in Oxford. Man, hell no, it don't be like that. Boy, boy I remember when your mom was. Boy, Boy, shut your, shut your ass. ass up. I was about to be your daddy, but I moved. I could have been a lot of them little niggas' daddy, but I moved. 37. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm just, I'm old enough to fuck everybody in the house, the mama, the auntie, any grown woman in the house. Great Yeah. That black, that black. Drink water. And that black mouth. Drink water, water, dude. Drink water and stay, don't give a fuck about it, nobody else's business. Yeah, bro, they're telling me about some water, bro. I don't drink no water. Why not? Huh? Why not? Well, water good for you, but that half of the battle right there, guy. Don't look at it as like you drinking water. Just look at it like you taking your medicine. For your body. That For your body. That, see, I be, that what ain't gonna make me drink. <clears throat> like, well, I'm well, you just hate yourself. When you man. in the club and you perform and all that, that water keep you hydrated, guy. I be drinking it when I think, you know what I'm saying, when I be performing. Wake up, wake up early in the morning and drink a glass of water and realize how smart you is. <laughs> <laughs> you be like, damn. Five times five, five and twenty. They always tell me to drink that water, though. Drink some water before you eat and watch how much fucking food you eat. <coughs> that shit make, I don't know, it's something about that. It's something about that shit. You'll start drinking it one day, I ain't got to tell you. Hold on, can we just go back to the school store? Yeah. I remember when we put baby oil in the hallway. But we bought like four bottles of baby oil and just squirted the whole hallway. Nigga, the bell wrong, man, nigga was out there. Boom! Boom! What was that? <laughs> Did you go to school with white people, DC? Niggas, man. Oh, see, Either you missed niggas. a lot of the shit. You, it's a lot of shit white people did at school right, right. that only they could do, bro. Right, like right. one day. I went to school with white people. They were racist, though. Bro, let's see how. We went white... to school with white people. They were orphans. <laughs> this is the thing about like, my. They said y'all over here. They don't love y'all. They fucked up. <laughs> they see, look, we went to school. With a lot of white, about half and half. It was probably 60 40 though. though. But white people, they get to do shit. They do everything as a group, so can't nobody get in trouble. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. white boy rode a fucking horse to school one day in his drawers. <laughs> Left the goddamn horse outside. <laughs> but everybody was going outside checking on the horse. Like, it was crazy. Yeah, I forgot the nigga rode up there with the drawers on. Yeah. All they care about is the horse. That's hilarious. Fucking I went to school with this crazy ass white boy. I ain't gonna say his name. Sam. We were sitting in class one day. This motherfucker was just like he was stressed out, like had grown man problems. Then this nigga just lit up a cigarette one day and just right in the middle of class. Hey, boy. Blue flame coming That nigga lit up a cigarette in class in ninth grade. Oh, that shit. I smoked some weed on school, but one time. Goddamn, DC. And then one girl get mad. She said, my gun, why you do that? I can't call the bus driver, I ain't say shit. Shut the fuck up. Bruh. <laughs> you like you driving the bus, bitch. Turn around. You, 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 you in the first seat. I ain't going to school high. I had too much shit to do. You finna get off now. At school. I went to school high one day. I felt like I was in school for two goddamn weeks, man. And I had football practice after that month. That was the longest goddamn day. What? I swear we was worse, but it was better. I mean, one time I went to football practice high here. Shit. I thought I was running, nigga. I was running in place. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what the hell, I'm like, nigga, I'm home. They're like, nigga, you true. 
Yeah, you play football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was it? What was it? You play slot. Slot, homie. What's a slot? You don't know what a slot? Yeah, nah. It's like a sl- you got receiver. the receiver, then you got the nigga that's right here next to him. That's just a receiver. It's a receiver, but it's like you're not the out receiver. You inside. You use the two. Quit, quit that slant. Yeah, I'm a two. Get up and up. Go tell down pro. Nah, that one thing I ain't never did. <laughs> that was always my dream, man. They ain't never get in that end zone, man. That's, that's one thing I can say, man. I had a lot of little stunts, but end zone wasn't one of them. Niggas. You feel me? You ain't never, no never, never scored? I almost did. I was like scold. a boy for each, and he can pop, man. <laughs> I could have just did this, like. <laughs> Hell no. I mean, as soon as I grab the ball, that nigga gonna pop my ass, man. Oh, Boy, I, I did a lot of shit scope. playing football. I used to return punts and stupid shit. I was the nigga who stood next to the punter. And be like, nigga, you ready? <laughs> Personal protector. What the fuck? Like you got that hit. ain't even no position. Yes, it is. The, the nigga that actually is. Be, it do be too big and big though. They get it out. Then it's the, the personal protector. <laughs> then the punter. So you really supposed to hit the first motherfucker coming through here. And I always act like I ain't see the big niggas coming through. And I'm like, no, they got the corner back in. <laughs> 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 bro, that is hilarious, bro. I should have never. You never blocked. I should have never played football. You got that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I was a, now that's I one game. Him. Oh, I thought I hit him. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hit him. Bro, he was swinging his head like a motherfucker. In it. He was swinging the fuck out of his head. You can ask anybody I played football with. I wasn't dunking no smoke. <laughs> And that's, oh, that's I won some and I lost some too. Oh, that's I'm, t- I'm talking about it. I done got my ass knocked off. Oh. <laughs> I mean, literally. Bro, I got hit so hard one day at practice. The coach said, Man, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> that when I found out I had an ammo. Motherfucker hit me <laughs> so hard and mm-hmm. broke all the snaps on the left side of my helmet. <laughs> I'm like, I'm going. Hey, the coach said, Just, just go get your helmet fixed. He ain't even let me do shit the rest of the day. <laughs> I was like, that motherfucker didn't hit me that hard. <laughs> yes, he did. Everybody would look. When I got up, everybody was looking like. Look at this motherfucker. And nigga still walking. Nigga, I never get I got hit by Stroger. Stroger was in the 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 the, the PC class. The, everybody know what that is. The special class. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah, I'm mean? saying? Yeah, yeah. But Stroger could play football. And Stroger was strong. He was an eighth grader. And I never forget they put me at running back. I said, "Why you doing that? I I I I, I play slot. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't play running back. <laughs> running back got to be at least 120. I'm 45, soaking wet. You hear me? Man, that nigga gave me that ball. I never forget. Scrolled and picked my ass up, and he was just like, <laughs> and bam, my stupid ass. And I'm just sitting there. You know, this the craziest thing. They like, get up. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, fucked up. <laughs> bro, when you playing high school football with some motherfuckers who know they playing football in college, you don't want to play football with them motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. They, Because they are already way better than yeah. you. <laughs> you trying to figure out how to play football. These motherfuckers <laughs> have already agreed to play D1. College. <laughs> man, we had this one motherfucker on our team so raw, we knew this nigga was going to. Man, everybody tried to tackle this motherfucker. Yeah, they chin busted. That motherfucker ran up to me one day and I moved out the way and the coach said, Carlos, why didn't you hit him? I said, Coach, look what he did to those guys. <laughs> We got three motherfuckers over there can't even hit cause they shit stitched up. Oh, man, fuck this shit. Real talk. No, I'm not hitting this motherfucker. Yeah, I mean, fuck up. Man, motherfucker, you come back from the summer, these niggas that gained 45 pounds on this career team. Man, you fucking losers. Hey, man, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Locked in. Clock in. What the fuck is you eating, man? Locked in. Eat a little something from that little flank. If you don't know about that, got shrimp and some steak, man. Hey, you can watch some tits. You can eat some steak. Uh-huh. Don't miss it like you walk the day. You're like, nah, I'm, I'm straight. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to rub a dick off my food. But I ain't gonna lie, if you give me some coochie, that would do. Hey. Man, who we got up in here with us today? My boy, oh, bro. my pop, my dog. Who? 
มาเนี่ยมาบวชมาวัดนี่เอ้ยอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ะอีสอ่ Don't just don't just put the street on that. What I'm saying, street. You, you gotta know, be a street nigga. nigga. You gotta be a street. You gotta be street. And he stay rapping, Mobile. Yeah, yeah. Did. Alabama. Mobile. Yeah. So you know city. he had to get it out the mud because there's a lot of dirt down there. He rapping city. Yeah. And y'all streets still brown. Man, y'all show some love. Yeah. OMB peas up in here. What? OMB peas. You did. Thank y'all for having me on Real Talk. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite TV shows. This is a TV show. TV show. Event. Bro, this is a TV show. Real TV show. Yeah, Damn. you know that? No. Yeah. Hell nah. Bro, you got this shit on YouTube. Nah, yeah. Bro, this is a TV I show. I be watching YouTube like TV. I don't watch TV. Fuck you, man. Oh. And that's who the podcast for? Niggas who watch YouTube like TV. They <laughs> put it on the TV. Oh, it's there. Put it on big screen. So it's you mean to tell me I'm making this podcast for my goddamn self? You did. Yeah. Ain't shit on TV no more. Ain't nothing. I only watch three channels, bro. I watch the news. Bro, they don't even put titties in movies no more. For for nope. They don't put titties in no more. Mm mm. They put ass cheeks. They don't they put. put ass, <laughs> they gonna put that ass in. Not even women ass cheeks. He be like, I got all ass cheeks. You gon' show the boys with the ass cheeks, man. <laughs> That's the second. I don't want to see Forrest Whitaker ass cheeks, man. <laughs> That's the second time you done made me choke on this week. Out of everybody ass cheeks, you gonna show me Forrest Whitaker ass cheeks. <laughs> TV stupid. They'll show the whole titty, but not the nipple. <laughs> Is the nipple offensive? I don't know, man. Show me some titties, man. Let's show it on Monster Ball. DC, how that shit been on the road, been, bro? bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's my first one. That's the first time she pulled them titties out in the movie. And they put it on that sofa. She let me hit on one of these. That's Monster's Ball. Swordfish was first. They say Halle Berry like Yoni. She don't even like niggas, though. For real. Nah, she don't even like Yoni. Halle Berry like Yoni. Halle Berry like Yoni. Halle Berry like Yoni. Halle Berry like Yoni. You want to uh, read that book, Yeah, She watched. She <laughs> watched a couple this. Of <laughs> she watched. She probably watched the show. Man, I need to go and slide in the DM. Real. Real. I love how the beer. Start hitting her up. Hey, DC, what that shit been like on the road, bro? Man, that shit been beautiful, man. You know, just trying to stay safe because you know, Corona out there. You know. Yeah. They acting like it ain't. I don't know what's going on, but they say if you caught it, you got antibodies. Right. And nowadays everybody sick. You ain't got antibodies, so you know what I'm saying. So it's yeah. like shit. They like, keep on going. I'm scared of that Corona shit. Man, that shit hey, real is a motherfucker. That motherfucker ain't no joke. My my auntie just passed. For real? So it, it it it. She has she had cancer, but then the, the COVID kind of like rushed it on up. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, that shit crazy, I changed. Mm-hmm. So you gotta let these folks know, man, COVID is for real. Yeah, you know? it is. But I can't wait till this shit get back normal, man. I you think it's gonna get back normal? I ain't got no choice. I, I, think, it, I think this is the new normal. Yeah. yeah. Ain't no more getting back yeah, like I it was. Say, I, think this, I ain't gonna lie. I just did this new, like, facial recognition shit to where they read your eyes and shit. I think they making the world like Mo used to wearing masks and shit, and they want to be able to read your eyes and shit for them, too. For real? Yeah. I, I can't get used to wearing no mask for the next two years. You going to get... Cause I tell you, still to the day, I'm forgetting my mask. Like, I get halfway and be like, fuck! <laughs> you, I got to go back for this bitch-ass mask, man. Man, man. Like, damn, I ain't even got mask. Man. Man. I'm like... Now I got to buy a mask. I got hundreds. I got to go to the store with my shit. Can I get a mask? <laughs> this is all I You ain't got no mask. God <laughs> dang. Sir, you need a bitch. I... <laughs> <laughs> now I got to walk out the store like this so the shit won't come down my face. I'm like, I hate living here, okay? I hate it here. I'm finna fucking move, man. <laughs> oh, this oh, God, no. stupid. I feel I'm stupid. I'm about to buy me one of them astronaut helmets. Fuck this shit. <laughs> I just want that astronaut helmet with that lift up face and fuck y'all. Oh, yeah, the one that's that motherfucker that be, helmet. That motherfucker be pumping the ad now. Uh-huh. Yeah, fuck this shit. I'm, that's what I'm getting. Fuck everybody. Fuck everybody. I might just give me a whole space man suit. And I don't, and I don't like the little, the little long shit, motherfucker. The motherfucker was talking to me the other day. I said, bitch, you look like Deion Sanders. Take that stupid ass shit 
Oh, you got this big ass shield. I see the spit hitting the shield. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just sick of this. I rather the spit hit my lip. Take the shield. <laughs> Take the shield off. I'm tired. You know. I just want to feel normal shit. again. You know Spit what this whole shit face. been showing me, DC? <laughs> Spit on my face. I want to feel normal again. <laughs> this is what the whole pandemic been showing me. This nigga ain't got no man. Before this got shit, no man. we was the oh, nasty yeah. motherfuckers. For it's real, human. Bro. I can't believe the type of shit we was just out here allowing. I'm sick of this shit. The shit we was doing with strangers. Yeah, before Corona I, was, I thought I was the only one that thought like that. Like what? Cause yeah. niggas out here wearing masks. Like, boy, we were close as fuck to people. Nigga! <laughs> Look at this Real shit. Talk, like, this real talk. how we were. Like, the Nigga, strangers. we was eating at a buffet with niggas we ain't eating up. Oh, God. It ain't like, eating that. It, it's worse than that. Motherfuckers out here eating booty and still got yeah. that. Yeah. Nigga, they still wait a minute. They still eat that. They fuck about it. Bruh, we was at the Waffle House <laughs> sitting back to back with motherfuckers oh, we didn't yeah, even no. know. <laughs> Nigga, sick. Dying. Nigga, we was going out uh-huh. meeting hoes mm-hmm. sitting three deep at the Waffle House. <laughs> we don't know where these hoes been. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Scoot it. <laughs> Neo, they took a shower. He been, been dancing for All four day. hours. <laughs> Nigga, salted in a motherfucker. <laughs> oh, Jesus, <geez, no. laughs> though. We were living dangerous. Not knowing they pandemic finished. Niggas are gonna show us, nigga. Niggas. niggas are sick. This is how we really supposed to live, like, distantly. <laughs> like, niggas supposed to say, what's up? Right, what's up? What's up? Don't, what do, up, don't, don't do couple of niggas. <laughs> we was out here sharing liquor. <laughs> what? what? I'm talking about the last one. You're drinking out the bottle. <laughs> Pouring this shit in a mouth. I'm still driving a boat. You were driving a boat. No the fuck. Oh, I <laughs> no the fuck. Uh uh-uh. uh. Nope. <laughs> oh, this Nigga. motherfucker right now still in the club right now like ain't shit going on. Ain't shit happening. Oh, no, they that. living their life like they just the like the motherfucker ain't dying. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta, I've been, you gotta I've been, go I've been in the, the club. club. You a rapper, nigga. They be dragging me in the club. I don't even like the club, man. You get I don't really like, like, I don't like going unless I'm, I got a show because that's when people fuck with me in there. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, we was doing shows. Club. We was hugging 300 people right at right a time, here. nigga. Exactly. Nigga, that's how I caught the COVID. We was hugging 300 motherfuckers. Nigga, I would, I would be like that. That's how I caught COVID, nigga. In all the statistics. Just tripping, dapping motherfuckers up. Damn motherfuckers up. Why you crazy? Why you, you, you crazy? I, I still you do that at my show and shit, though. Like, still, you still do it? I still do that at my show what right you now. Do? I be dead motherfuckers on the shit. You ain't put hands on that, though? Yeah, I'm getting out there. <laughs> where the goddamn shit at? You damn near got to do that every give time. What's up, why? Oh, yeah. Taylor, where is the shit? <laughs> she got to right. give us the shit. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. If a nigga pull that out, he don't trust you. Yeah. Hand sanitizer is the new trust. Do I nigga, trust I, you? I pull the hand sanitizer out because I want to save everybody. I don't think I trust you like that. I don't trust you. <laughs> See what I'm saying? See, look at this shit. You put the you put hold that up, hold, hold up, it's now. a little nugget. Hold up, I'm gonna need y'all to be useful. Oh. <laughs> I ain't got nothing but like two squirts left. That's what I told her. I told her I had like, two squirts. Like, why you ain't nobody else? I ain't got no more squirts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't really shake it like that. Like, why you ain't got no more squirts? <laughs> I need more squirts. <laughs> Nigga, I can't really shake it like that. I need more squirts. <laughs> This is crazy, bro. Bro, this is gonna be a high ass episode. I'm sick of so this while shit. we getting high, man, tell us how you got in the rap game, please. Uh, Cause you got an interesting story. See, I've been rapping all my life though, for real, for real. So when you was three, you was rapping. No shit, like I say, all my life to what I don't see. I don't remember when I was three. You might have been, uh, but see, you the type. You you got all your Facebook videos. I got all my. So your shit be popping yeah. up like, bro, that nigga dead yeah. ass. Yeah. He just be rapping. Oh good. I told y'all I'm gonna make. I'm like, that nigga dead ass. Oh dude, though. See, I've been, I made my first song when I was twelve. Though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Then what was it called? Done. It was, he ain't had no name. Damn. He ain't had no name. I ain't even got no name. <laughs> was it hard? It was hard to me back then. Okay. I was like, you're yeah, really really 12 year old shit. Yeah, oh, geez. Okay, man. It was hard also. Yeah, it's a little kid shit. Man, yeah, yeah, okay. So, I got there, I was rapping out through school. See, I had moved to California when I was little. Yeah. So, I was rapping out through school like that. I had to learn, learn how to rap on they type beats. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. But that shit was raw though. Yeah, I moved to California. Sacramento. Feel like close to the bay. 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 Yeah. How long you looked up? I was there for a little minute. 
Long time. Long time. So when you came back to the mountain? Shit. I started coming back like after a few years, I thought. No. So you, so it, but see, niggas don't understand as you get older how that just made you not scared to expand your horizon. Yeah. I'd have been out before. See, it feel like I can just got down, pack up a move anytime I want. You right. Feel? I can go got down New York if I want to. You right. See, people be stuck in their own like people be like. I still got people who ain't never been on a plane. Like, don't want to get on a plane. I be right. big in the air, but come with me. You feel me? Like, yeah, now I'm scared of that plane. Right. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Once you get on shit but a plane, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But they so stuck up in they, so I feel like me moving, they just put me into it like mind state like shit. I can live in the world type shit. Right. When I hear motherfuckers say they ain't getting on no plane, I'd be like, you don't want this money. No, good, real nigga. Nigga. That would've meant. If you trying to get any kind of money, you gotta put your ass on that airplane. Seat. It would, yeah. Motherfuckers say they don't want to get on that plane. Yes, cause I'm about to leave your ass. Leave. I'm gone. I'm not gonna stay here cause you scared. Yeah. The fuck? <laughs> Bye! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we even to smell this exhaust. <laughs> we got their bags in the truck, nigga. You know what I be thinking about Bullshit. on the plane, though? It's like, I know we're on a commercial plane, but I be like, man, motherfuckers really be jumping out these bitches. Tripping. I went skydiving down folks. You went skydiving down folks? Yeah. By yourself? No, a nigga on my back. Oh, you on your back, like, <laughs> you ready, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't pull the parachute? <laughs> you like, what? What if I don't pull the parachute? <laughs> like, this thing. <laughs> DC, what if the nigga just get to saying all kind of fucked up shit? I, I just don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I'm fucking. I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired of life, man. I ain't think about no shit like that. I ain't think about that. You want to go with that? Yeah, nah. What? Bottle got the punch in his ass. Hey, you want to go with that? Yeah, nah. Bottle got the punch in his ass. Fuck it. Fuck it. You know, the GoPro see all this shit. You know, we fucked up. We can't be chased. He yeah. don't want to pull that bitch for nothing. Yeah, I just, I I just can't live like this no more. <laughs> hey, what, hey, what, hey, what if you hear? Uh, he like, pull it. He like, oh shit. He like, oh shit. Look. <laughs> hey, oh shit, I heard that. Man, put your hands up. Put your hands up. <laughs> look, look at it. Put your hands up. Put <laughs> your hands up. Hell no. I ain't gonna lie, that was the funniest shit I ever did in my life, though. What, as soon as you jump out that motherfucker, your shoe come off. That's oh, that's it. That shit dragging. 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 That shit <laughs> I'm behind on my mortgage, man. I'm... And this nigga wanna have a good time and jump hey, out of the plane. Oh, 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 oh. We gonna jump, all right. You ready? Cause I'm ready. <laughs> this brother gonna get my last one, y'all. Yeah, I'm retired today. Yeah, nah. <laughs> you ready, big guy? <laughs> you ready? Yeah. You gotta be excited now. <laughs> That is hilarious, bro. That's your wrong. And then you fall past some motherfuckers who jumped out before you. You're like, you really ain't bullshit. <laughs> You're like, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> them niggas going to put that shit down. You're like, yeah, them niggas right that trip. They already in their pants, too. Oh, shit. Wouldn't it be fucked up if just his shit open? But now y'all attached. I'm saying, but soon as his shit open, your ass unclip. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he doing you like this. <laughs> that is hilarious. Nice bro. jumping with your pal, Clish. They can let your ass go too. Bruh, you are, hey, how long did it take for the for the fear of jumping out of plane the well, like when you actually falling? That shit don't last that long though, dude. Man, that shit was great. How how far yeah. did you jump? Well, how, how that about, good. Ain't that shit about 10,000 feet or something? Yeah, I, be, I be wanting to do shit.
Nigga, nigga right. this nigga this here. Nigga. Hey, right. Boy, if you don't look like you, <laughs> boy, boy. Laugh, laugh, my queen. DC, DC, get left. off the back of that lady chair, because if she come out that chair, left. Oh, her shit come with a goddamn. She can go fishing on that motherfucker. Her hey, man, get your ass up there, lady shit. Where you going now? Don't go, don't crush my feet. Don't crush my feet. She got an Android screen on her wheelchair. That shit going crazy. Down. You going down? All right, why you going down? Okay, come on. She said so we can go faster. I love you. Uh, ah, shit, pick up speed. Nigga. Let go, baby, let go. Ah, ah, ah. Who the fuck hit me on my ass? Ah. I can't see. I'm with my baby. Let's ride, dude. Need for speed. All right, you gonna bust it left. I'm gonna do the noise. Hey. I'm gonna act like we drill. Hey. Back oh. of the lady wheel. Turn this motherfucker like it's an 18-wheeler. Let's ride, baby. Feel like ride. I'm in a parade. I know. This nigga getting rolled around the venue like Beyonce. Nigga, what the fuck? She go. I'm in a parade. I'm riding. Go, baby. baby. <laughs> go, boo. So these niggas, baby. Bae, bae. Hit the left. Ah! I said, I'm riding. Baby. With bae. Come on. I'm riding huh? with baby. You act like you're going to the finish line. Bae. I'm riding with my baby. I'm riding with my baby. Riding with my baby. baby. Riding with my baby. Let's go, baby. baby. No, no. You're going to traffic. Uh -uh. I'm riding with my baby. Let's go this way, man. I'm riding man. with my baby. Oh, with my baby. oh we swerving. Let's go, boo. We finna take my your baby, ass to the store. She in a chair. We finna go she get us some swishes. She can give me a ride anywhere. My baby, she in a chair. She can give me a ride Who you anywhere. in with? Baby, where you going? Go left, go right. Go to the left. You to trying to take me home. To the right. I'm riding with Hold baby. up, can you get over this? I'm with my baby. Oh, I'm shit. I'm with my baby. I'm riding with my baby. You just hit a pothole. <laughs> Hold up, baby, real. don't hit the step. I hope. You don't I know you're excited, wheels. but we can't crash. Keep it real. I hope you don't flatten her wheels. You're riding with oh. baby. Hold on, baby. I got to stop that city trend. Stop. You're riding with baby. I got to take my coat baby. back. You're riding with baby. I'm riding with my baby. Riding with baby. I'm riding with my baby. She got me high Yeah, take your coat off. His shirt made out of table. Let's go, baby. That is crazy. Thank you, boo. Took a ride with you. you and shit took two days. Shit. Am I ready? You gonna give everybody a ride? Fuck it. That was a great parade. I might weigh a little bit more than DC. <laughs> Roberto Santana. Yeah. Used to sell work down Louisiana. Across the pike. Used to sell dime bags on my 10 speed bike. <laughs> on my birthday flew a kite. Never thought that I would be reaching these heights. <laughs> I say psych. Ask your mama if I can spend the night with her in her room. Cleaning up the kitchen using a broom. I'm going to sweep her off her feet. And then take her to Walmart like two times a week. <laughs> I said I sweep her off her feet uh -huh. and take her to Walmart like uh, two times a week. And what you get? Hey, whatever she wants. Like she gets the groceries. I check with two. 
and some odds and ends. Maybe some laundry detergent. Uh -huh. Or maybe some deodorant. Uh -huh. Or maybe some fucking tangerines. Yeah. They had the motherfucking greens. Two for five. Uh -huh. And she bought five. Uh -huh. Add it up. Still wasn't enough. Ooh, don't pay her by the electronics. Why not? Cause she gon' wanna be dominant. I'm talking she gon' want the TV and the Roku too. Okay. But you gotta let her know <clears throat> you is a fool. Okay, Don't look so, at that. <laughs> what are you saying? You gotta pull in the front, my man, you did. Really? Don't take her to the back. Never. Because you know that's where all the highest shit is at. Hold on, but it's her. She can get whatever she needs. But a TV Even night, her nigga, three? Three. Damn. She got five bedrooms. And we don't share bedrooms. Mm, five bedrooms, everybody in it. Huh? With two kids. Were the others in it? Hold the up, kids was downstairs taking a nap. Mm. I treat them like my own. No cap. Mm. <laughs> See, that's where you messed up. Don't be happy. But sadly, sound like you a sugar daddy. Oh, sugar or step. I prefer step. Because uh. if a nigga even try me, we gonna all step. Oh. Me and the kids. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. Mm. They didn't have cable when I came to where they live and now they do. <laughs> they got channels times two. Mm. Even got the Cartoon Network. So what it do? See what you do, you gotta say bye bye. No cable, here go Wi Fi. Uh -huh. <laughs> Less money, my nigga. Tie die. Uh -huh. No, <laughs> see, it came with the package. We got them routers, but we hit them behind the mattress. Ooh. Make it look like we ain't got none. But every time we walk in, the Wi Fi connects, son. Mm, I dig it. I see what you're saying. You know what? There's no more playing. Let's go. Okay, go back to the gangster shit we was talking about. Welcome back to the 85 South Show. You did. Oh, will be. I'm talking about So we were talking about how you came up with the lay down, bro. So you was living with your baby mama going oh, through yeah, your jail sure. raps. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through my jail raps. I don't remember if I had got down, wrote it down, or I, if I wrote it down in jail, or I wrote it down when I was uh, uh, at my baby mama house, you feel me? Mm -hmm. I was staying with my baby mama and her mama, you feel me? So, both of them. I'm on fire. I'm thinking about hell. I'm saying, boy, shit. Hell, 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 hell. Her mama, uh, elderly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So, boom. Goddamn. So, only thing I'm thinking about is like shit, rapping and shit, you feel me? Right. Around this time, you feel me? Like, everything, I just had my baby, so everything I was doing, I tried to go way hard in it, like, you feel me? So, when I'm at the house, I'm taking care of my baby and I'm writing shit, you feel me? I'm in the streets, everything I'm doing in the streets, I'm going 10 times hard, you feel me? Right. So what was so, your inspiration? Because I know every time I hear, I hear Boos. I hear, I hear a little bit of Boos. You for sure, a big part of, big, Boos have played a big part of me. But I hear you, though. Know, I'm, I, I, I'm just saying, as a music kind of show, I just like, lie, I but, but me figuring that myself as an artist, you feel me? Like, Boos have played a big ass part in it, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm watching all these documentaries and shit. Like, I'm watching all this shit, you feel me? Like, Boos have played a big ass part in that shit, but. A lot of people paid a big ass point in, like Mr. Big from my city. Come on, man. City, you feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's a lot of people though. But yeah, like, they laid down shit, I wrote that shit, I dropped it. See, I wrapped it in the car. After I wrote it, I wrapped it in the car to my problems and shit. Like, yeah, hey, this the one, you feel me? I'm like, hey, I'm like, you feel me? They like, yeah, this the one right here. My nigga J Fake. Boom, then I had, uh, went to the studio. I took the nigga to the studio and shit. I recorded it. I had it for like, I had it for like, Three weeks, you feel me? Just listening to it, you feel me? And goddamn, I finally had goddamn. I hit a little, a little leak. Got, uh, mm -hmm. got the money to shoot a video, you feel me? And then shot the video to it, dropped the video with it. But I had this how crazy life is though, you feel me? Like I don't really want. That's why, like in one of my songs on my tape, I had no, not even my tape. You feel me? Some shit I'm finna down and put on the look. I had said goddamn. I don't want to tell you what to do with your life, because Robin for the chain got me out the rain, you feel me? When I was in jail, like, me going to jail got down the reason why I got the video nigga number to shoot later on, you feel me? My silly ass, I'm, I'm revving and shit, you feel me? My silly like, but I got a video man, raw head video man, when you get out, shoot with him, you feel me? <clears throat> Boom, you feel me? So he write down the number, you feel me? Boom. So I feel like, and if I would never been in that situation, I would like never would have ran into that. You feel me, that cameraman? You feel me? Full circle. I'm good. I'm Jesus. 
So God damn, I get the camera, man. I'm, God damn, I'm, I do what I do. I shoot the video. Boom, that piece go up. I shoot it with a nigga named K. Woods, you feel me, from the Bay, you feel me? I'm shooting in Sacramento. I'm, in, I'm living in Sacramento, you feel me? So everybody in Sacramento really know I be rapping, but he ain't reached the Bay yet, you feel me? Yeah. Because Sacramento ain't really the Bay, it's just close to it, you feel right, me? Right. So boom, when I shoot with K. Woods, he living in the Bay. He shoot for everybody in the Bay, you feel me? So goddamn, everybody in the Bay catch a hold to it, you feel me? Then that bitch take off. Okay. Man, that scene out there crazy when it comes to the music, bro. Uh, yeah. they, they fuck with you. you when go, they fuck they with you, crazy. yeah, you can go plant them just in the bait. Yeah. yeah. Lock it low. So, 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 even though that was your inspiration, like, even though you coming up and you having your business, like, was there something else besides music that you wanted to chase? Or just, it was just like, music, I'm gonna just rap. Yeah. Music was on time for real. It was like shit. I ain't see myself doing nothing else. Right. You know what I'm saying? They tried to get me to get a job. You feel me? I, went, I was like, hell no, nah, I can't. I can't work for nobody. You feel me? It wasn't even like, I don't want no job. You feel me? It was like, shit, I can't work for, I don't want to work for nobody. Right. So when was, when was that moment when you were like, you know what? This shit finally paying off. You see? I'm good. Like, when I had walked in E40 house, you feel me? I'm like, oh, yeah, this shit. This How shit, you link up with E40, man? Ford, my nigga Ken. My nigga Ken, I had got done. Okay, so this shit crazy. Right. That life, you feel my life really done not like a movie. You feel yeah, that's like, why you gotta talk that shit. Man, I got it. I moved to California and the U-Haul, man. I hope you get it you open. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 I thought the motherfucker would open the prison <laughs> prison. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like it's, it's giving you a hard time, bro. <laughs> motherfucker back there. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't meant to be open. <laughs> bad gang, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so, but I, I moved to California and stole you out of you feel me? <laughs> Why the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Bruh! <laughs> I was trying to swap and twist it alone. You hit that bitch with it? Yeah, like, Hold up. Hell nah, I wasn't driving, I was twist. Oh, you was just, you yeah, just hit that bitch? My mama and them, my mama and them, uh, my mama and her sister and shit. We was in the back of that bitch. I ain't talking to you out of Trump, talking to you out of band. Right. Like so y'all rode all the way to California yeah, in the back of the U-Haul? Right through that. 30. Right through that. Bruh, shit, you, you a so, different so, type so, of nigga that just that's even survived that type that's of shit. That's how you got to California. Yeah. So in the U-Haul. Yep, fast forward, you feel me? I dropped it down, you feel me? Then got down. It started taking off in the bait, now everybody in the bait, you feel me? He in it, you feel me? So Ken, my nigga Ken ain't heard the shit. Goddamn, he reached out to me. But by that time, I had met a little, uh, I had met a nigga trying to be my manager and shit, but I just wasn't feeling him. I be going out vibes right, and shit, right, you feel right, me? Right, 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 You know what I'm saying? I be going out vibes, like, I don't know, I just wasn't feeling him, you feel me? It was like, he was showing signs of like, I don't know, flow shit, you feel me? Right. Boom. So I had met Ken, and Ken wasn't even trying to be my manager for real, for real. It was like, shit. I, this nigga will do some shit and I ask him like, hey man, what this shit mean? Like, you know what I'm saying? What this shit mean? What this nigga talking about? You feel me? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, shit, it, it just led to me like, fucking with him genuinely, like, you feel me? So, right. you know what I'm saying? He put me on game. Yeah, exactly. Don't realize this a fuck nigga. Exactly. So, boom. It just got down. It led to him being my manager and shit, but he already connected because he from Vallejo, you feel me? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's in the bait. That's how you heard it in the first place. Boom. So, got down. He had introduced me to Fortnite. Yeah. So what's your favorite song? Well, something that you you feel like that the people slept on or you just you know like this is what I ride to. Some new shit. It gotta be some new shit out the tape for real. I fuck with that I try. That's my favorite song, you know? Yeah, that's my favorite song. Bang. You you doing it, you doing it a lot. Like, what's a feature that you that you that you want out there? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, who you, got, who you got to lock in with? I got to have him on the track. I mean, I know you fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? I ain't tripping and all that. <laughs> but you know who y'all boy, Andy. I've been so... But God damn, let me see. I don't even really be... I don't know, I be tripping out with fevers and shit like that. I be trying, because I'm really trying to tell my story and right, shit right, like that. Right. I don't feel like... None of these niggas feel my story in a way, you feel me? Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Unless I feel like a, I can relate to them. You know what I'm saying? That's like I feel like I can relate to him or like I fuck with you genuinely. You feel me? Right, and then right. a lot of this shit in the industry do not be genuine. Right, right. That's why I really be staying to myself for real. Right. 
see you for Got you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't really be. Unless it's something that's gonna further my career. Damn. So you ain't, you ain't coming up, you ain't come up playing no music, no like musician, like like instruments and shit like that. Yeah, I be playing the piano. I was, I was playing the guitar and shit when I was twelve. Nigga, you did so much shit at tw- I feel like I've been fucking around. I ain't gonna lie though. I was, Bro, you was alive. I'm tap dancing at 12, man. Don't add me. I ain't gonna lie though. My beard advanced as I know, but that's what I'm But it's just like, bro, you. Damn, I should have did some more shit. Playing guitar? He played that bitch all the way to California in the U.S. In the U.S. Went crazy. I ain't gonna lie. My family. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Hey man, you here from Oxford now? Yeah, I know. Too. I spoke. Yeah. I'm talking about dirty flip flop yeah, country. So. <laughs> I'm talking about matches on the floor, nigga. I'm talking about city. eleven cousins, one grandma house, everybody spending the night. Yeah. Fuck you talking about? Nigga. Hebrew sandals on. What? That's the that's the coldest part about being from a small town. You see the same. Motherfuckers every day. And every day. street, back street. You talking about the uh, Willie Earl over there on the back street? <laughs> Bruh. They just point to it. Oh, oh you talking street. about oh, over there on that back street? And you know exactly where these motherfuckers at. I love the country. And my people from Emerson. Emerson. Emerson, George. Bruh. Yeah. Emerson, George. It ain't nothing like the small town. People yeah. always yeah. talk yeah. shit yeah. about yeah. it, but well, motherfuckers be looking out, bruh. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> Not to nigga. They still, they still eat at diners, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> With the seats turn all the way around and shit. He's like, what you want? <laughs> 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 thought, you, thought you were talking to me. You talking to me. <laughs> he be like, you can say something. I can say something to you. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? Yeah, no. I wouldn't you trade that shit for the world. <laughs> for real? Okay. It, ain't, it ain't nowhere I would much rather grow up, bro. Wait, Oxford, yeah. Mississippi yeah, know, is the laughest little up. city in the world, bro. When I was growing up, this mother, it's the coldest city hmm. ever, nigga. Because where the fuck we live, right. they didn't know shit about it. Right, it was just all y'all. It was us. I'm talking about it. it was, yeah. <laughs> nigga, we had our whole own little world of nigga shit. The white people just, they saw us there now and then, but they ain't know where the fuck we live. We ain't know where they stayed. They ain't Even come when you were going to school with, for 50%, 50% Bruh, white? It's what, I don't know where one white person I went to high school live. And I just realized this shit. <laughs> we live in the same city. I don't know what side of town they live on. They didn't never ride the bus with us. They got dropped off and picked up. We didn't, I don't know where the fuck they stayed. I ain't never rode by none of their house and they was outside. Never cared to even stay. Even like, if where I the knew what they neighborhood stayed? they lived in, I couldn't tell you what house. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that shit crazy, man. That's crazy. In Austin, Mississippi? Bro, we rode on, on my bus, like riding the bus to school when I was doing that shit. Bro, it was like five niggas on the bus, and it was us. And they we got added to they bus. So we used to get on the bus, and nigga, they was like, <gasps> that we was just as shocked to see all of them as they was us. But after riding the bus for so long, we was like, man, I was sick the fuck down. But... We just went to school. We like get misses. dropped off at school. It'd be five niggas getting off the bus full of little white children. I'm yeah. talking about kindergartners and second graders and shit. It's spaced out like a mom. Bruh, girl. they so young, they don't even know for real. They yeah, just they like. <laughs> <laughs> they, I told you, we only went to school with like two little white kids. You know where they from. Bruh, I remember one day this little white boy, he used to talk so much shit. And then somebody ate his motherfucking lunch. <laughs> on the way to school, like literally stole his lunch and ate it and ate. put it back in his seat. <laughs> he found the shit, the bag. He was like, and the motherfucker ate my Cheetos too. That shit was so funny. Hey, Travis. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we used to do some crazy shit back in the day. So, OG, yeah, you down uh, here with well. it. You in the city with it. Yeah, yeah, I've been living out here for like shit. Almost two years, for real. Like the shit. Yeah, I love Atlanta, for real. Love Atlanta. Yeah. It's it's Black Hollywood. Hollywood. Bro, every nigga love Atlanta. I don't it's know Black how you Hollywood. not love Atlanta. I'm about to get the fuck on. Where you going? I'm going to LA. I'm going to live out there probably about a year Why you going to live in LA? I'm sick of this shit. 
Yeah, you tired of it. Yeah, man. You from that long, though. Yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's it too much going on now. It, it, yeah, I can't do it, man. Man. You know, it, man. You know, too many out time for me. You know, I be feeling like shit. I be still feeling like a tourist. I'm ready to go. <laughs> it's too many spending down here for the All-Star Weekend. You see how many motherfuckers came down here, man? Did you see how many motherfuckers came down here, man? And wow. you couldn't even go to the All-Star game. See, that's why I don't never, I'll never live in the city again. Huh? I'll never live in the city again. Yeah, me either. I used to stay right down downtown. I was like, hell no. I love no. the city. Mm-mm. I love This is the thing about in the city for me. Too many motherfuckers walking around. And right. too much tra- foot traffic. Right. Fuck the car. Them all that goddamn walking and shit. I don't like all that. <laughs> and it's like some New York shit. I don't like. I don't, I'm, I'm from the country. I don't need a motherfucker to be up all night. Take your monk ass and sleep. <laughs> shit, close all this shit. Ain't no need for all this shit to be open all the time. Close this yeah. shit and go to bed. <laughs> so what project? What um? What video you gonna come out to next on the project? I want. I want to come out with um. Uh, I want to come out with. So tired, but I'm gonna come out with on my way. On my way, why on my way? Because I wanna go ahead and get that message out there. You feel me? I fuck with that song, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that one out there. Yeah. And I'm gonna wait. You feel me? I feel like I fuck with uh, Soul Tide more. You right. Feel me? And they anticipate that one more. You feel me? So I'm gonna go ahead. So even though you 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 putting the plan together, even on my way, saying what what it's saying, like what 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 is the message? Oh shit, the message about the song. Mm-hmm. It's like you feel me? See. I made it for like suicide awareness. You feel me? Oh, you know getting saying? deep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to show people I'm an artist for real. I ain't just rapping, you know what I'm saying? But right. the regular little shit, you know what I'm saying? Suicide awareness, like. <clears throat> I got a lot of. See, I'm explaining. Yeah, explain I got a lot of like. See, I don't know why, but in my life, I've been, I always meet people who, you feel me, be doing suicide. like self inflicted. Like, you mm-hmm. feel me? Like, mm-hmm. shit, you feel me? But I, at first, I'd be like, shit. I ain't understand it, so I'd be like, man, they emo, you feel me, they tripping, right. I'd get away from it, feel me? But then again, I started running into it so much, I'd be like, damn, let me try to figure out, like, why, you feel right. me, they be doing this type of shit. So, boom, I started asking, like, why you feeling like, what the fuck you got going on, you feel me? I asked a, a girl or something, like, fuck you, feel me? Boom, one of them told me, like, a couple, a few of them told me, like, shit, they'll do it because they want to got down, they want to, like, Forget about the shit they going through. They want to put some more pain on themselves. You right. feel me? They think about their pain and forget about what they going through type right, shit. Right, right. Feel me? Just so goddamn, yeah, I wanted to make a song about that shit. Feel me? That's crazy. Cause people, if, if if somebody don't speak on it, people would not yeah. really have the knowledge on on it or would even consider it or even think about it. Cause I'm aware of suicide. You know what I'm saying? Like self inflicted, not just me, but just. It happened in my family, uh, multiple, yeah, multiple. Yeah, in my family too, you right. feel me? Like, I done had my, my sister-in-law kill herself. Uh, I had my cousin kill himself. I had my other cousin play Russian roulette tripping, but probably was trying to do it, end up shooting himself. Mm-hmm. So it's very, it's a, it's common to people who go through it, but it's not common because people don't speak on it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, never, people won't assume that you even know something about it or even know what's going on. Yeah. But see, now when the guy spoke on they like, well, damn, what else he probably had or not speaking on. Mm-hmm. That's the you one. That real. That real. People connect the real shit, man. Right. That's why I was going ahead and drop that on my way. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to goddamn put that up. The motherfucker go crazy. You know what I'm trying to tell you? You got to put it up. So what, so, so on my way is, that's, which, which one that is? That's the, uh, that's the suicide of uh, That's the suicide, but what about the one after on my way? That's uh, Soul Tide. Soul Tide. Yeah. What, what, what is the, uh, soul Tide? Soul Tide is just like, you know, that regular me, Benny, you feel me, I want to say. You feel me? That really how my music is, you know what I'm saying? I really be just talking about my life. That's why I say, like, I don't really be caring, like, about, like, people who just with a nigga for the hype. The, the first people who were with me, they really been listening to the story. They, right, really right. they know you grow. Watching the nigga grow. Right, yeah, right, like, you right, know what right. I'm saying? So that's what I really be trying to touch. That's what that soul ties in. I'm just expressing myself how they know I express myself type shit. Yeah, right, too. Right, too. So after this project, like, what's in stoke? What's your main, what's your main goal in this music shit? Like, where you see yourself at? I want to be goddamn. See, I don't want to just be... I don't want to say stuck on music, because I love music. Right. I feel like I'm going to be rapping until I can't 
You mm-hmm. feel me? Rap type shit no more, you feel me? But I wanna be like Jay Z and them type shit, you feel me? I really see myself up there, you feel me? Hell yeah, do that shit. I'm gonna be up there too. I'm about to get in the prescription uh, medication business. I want to. I just seen some shit on American TV. I ain't fucking with them folks. I'm trying to get in business with them now. I'm trying to come out with something. I just watched shit on American Green. Nigga was flooding the streets with fentanyl, bro. He was paying the doctors. No, I don't want that. But look, though, he was paying the doctors to prescribe the medicine to people. Like, he would pay the doctors to. To promote his drug and pay him to prescribe. That's so how the farmers. That's games, how they do. So when people were coming to them, he was like, "So what I need for this pain?" That's the Man, game. He did right here. Oh. He was like, "Nigga, if I don't make quota, y'all fuck, niggas." I'm like, "The fuck?" That's the game. That's it, exactly that how they get skin rich. Skin take any motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. I'm about. Yeah. That's. What, I'm about to start just studying legal white people hustles. Just do the shit, do the shit, just like they do it. Like Project Pat say, crook by the book. (laughs) No, but just think of this. Think of how much shit that's legal that motherfuckers never don't even try. Just because they don't even know, hey, if you fill out this form and get this certification and then you become this type of person and you run this type of business, you can get this much money just because you're doing this. I'm talking about some, some businesses that they don't have a lot of. It's a whole list of shit that they be like, hey, you know they got grants for motherfuckers who make wigs for dogs who lost their hair prematurely. Like, <laughs> you mean to tell me I'm the only one who make prosthetics for bald puppies? Oh, God, no, that real though. And I'm getting 50000 a year from the government. Because don't nobody else even know that this is some real shit. Some real shit. Bruh, you know who else be getting a lot of money? You know, and them dogs and shit be getting ran over and they lose their legs. Right. The motherfuckers who make the little wheels that go on the back. Yeah. You talking about, you talking about wheelchair for the, for the dog? With you the two little wheels instead of the back, they making bread off of it. There's a lot of See, three-legged I'm, dogs. I, I ain't doing around. the classic shit niggas doing, bro. I'm gonna open me a goddamn spaghetti business or something <laughs> off the wall. Yeah, blow me. <laughs> Boy, dog wheelchair Fuck this regular shit. That's how they get rich. You don't don't know, man. Nigga, I'm coming, nigga, I'm coming out with with some motherfucking gloves for oh, people yeah. who don't have all their fingers. Some <laughs> shit, I don't know. <laughs> I'm bringing mittens back. It's just a hand, hey, how you doing? <laughs> it is retarded. I'm gonna come out with the bra that cover the top part of the titty. You gonna put your put a whole titty in a cup. Just a cup. Yeah, fuck. Ain't no more cleavage. It's the selfish bra. You can put the whole titty in. You put the titty. It's like a titty bag, but it's firm. Like. A <laughs> All right, I'm just throwing ideas out here. I'm just letting you know. Somebody, you can get drop right me down, bro. Whatever I can get in, I'm trying to come up with the dog leash that uh, calm the pet down or some shit. I just be thinking the of shit at the house. Yeah. The dog wheelchair is lit. There's a lot of dogs that be getting hit by car trip. But that's what I'm saying. That's not nothing new. I almost hit a squirrel the other day. That nigga like he wanted to commit suicide. Yeah. I ain't like, oh, God, but I just hit a dick. That nigga like, it's him. <laughs> I was like, bro, get your ass out the street. <laughs> I think I'm all out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, nigga, yeah, nigga, that new way. Nigga, got time for this shit. Nigga, it's either me or you. Fuck I you. think squirrels make decisions too slow. That's why they always get caught in the middle of the street. It'll be like, oh, shit, oh, fuck. And then you're like, damn, I hope I ain't hit that squirrel. Because they look like, squirrels always look like they're handling business. If you look at them. They don't never be fucking around anymore. And then they look up and be like, what the fuck? And get back to their little squirrel business. Oh, right. And then they'll stop a little bit like, somebody looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want this bitch, this big ass squirrel to know where I'm putting these nuts and shit. Right. Let me just. Go, do you remember? <laughs> Have you ever noticed when the, when the motherfucking squirrel see you looking, that motherfucker stop? And then he tried to, they, he they not, to do, that's what I'm saying, right. yeah, yeah, they, right, 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 they oh. can't make decisions faster than <laughs> that, so they just look stupid, they like, hey, get your little squirrel ass out of here, man. Hey, I won't hit a dead too. He hit one, he I said. hit one of them. Was it dead yeah. when you hit the bitch? That bitch don't rape out in the middle of the street. That's why I said, I think my hoe be committing suicide. They hit, boom. Yeah, hit the hoe. Man, the dead was literally on the side of the road and saw me, looked up. And it was just like, when I came out, he just came out. I'm like, you waited. Oh, God. You waited for oh, me. 
You yeah, waited. I'm And I tried to slow down, like, you know what? There go a deer. Nah, let me speed up. No, man, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm, I'm driving. I'm driving. It's two deers right here. Oh, God. They looking at the ground. When we driving, no, I'm in a pound to see my bed. It's right. a girl driving me, you feel me? She dancing to the music. She playing Kevin Gates, you feel me? Boom, we riding. It's two deers right here. They looking at the ground. Them hoes look up. They look at the car, one on run and the other one jump right in the street. Oh, Boom. He had, he, he was like, like, all right, bro, you ready? He was waiting on no y'all. Time for his, his other <laughs> deer partner was like, don't do it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, fuck this deer shit, bro. I'm tired of this shit. My sister hit a deer and brought that motherfucker to the hood. <laughs> on the car. I said, bitch, you ain't put, take the deer off the car? He said, look, I got something with me. I can't do that. When I used to l deliver pizza, I hit a motherfucking deer, and it looked like it hit, went over my car in slow motion. No. Like I'm coming around the curb, and I hit it on the passenger side, and the motherfucker went over the hood, and it was like, boom. <laughs> I get out, I look, the motherfucker look back up, and like, ran off in the motherfucking woods. I was like, you bitch ass nigga. But then I always be thinking like, <laughs> to be honest, <laughs> where did this motherfucker come from? He's been running trying to get to wherever deals be. Yeah. It's for the longest. He like, well, we've been lost for three years. Like, they running from city to city. That's why I'm telling you, man. <laughs> they can't never get home. Whoever made this motherfucking world be has motherfucking on some other shit, man. He just made a whole bunch of shit that just don't even make no sense. Right. What the fuck a deer out there doing? So you tell him, oh, well, see, oh, maybe what they confused, though. Maybe we in the deer shit. Oh, good, man. Hey. But we what, might they be like, what the fuck is they doing? They keep running around. <laughs> we might be in their yard. They're like, nigga, you still in my that's yard. What the fuck are these niggas doing? <laughs> that crazy. Like, what if that's all animals is doing, is running around like, these humans making another goddamn street. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Real time. Real time, though. Real and time. it's another one talking about, is it safe to come out? <laughs> <laughs> we got to stay back here again. What if all the other animals is working to protect Bigfoot? They go back and tell them niggas don't come over here. They building another Publix. That's crazy. Oh, God. Bigfoot cannot be found. They, they always see him. Every time he gets in, he's like, they think they see me. <laughs> 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 yeah, he always scared the shit out of somebody. Y'all probably don't remember this shit, but it was a couple years ago, it was some dudes up in Agworth who, yes. who fake killed Bigfoot. And they had uh they had this fucking cooler with all this shit in it, and they was like, yeah, we got them. And they was like, nigga. Was white dude. Yeah, it was two white dudes, bro. They what, 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 what? I, it ended up being like a fucking pig or some shit. But they had everybody. They got a hair red pig. Well, they faked the whole shit. Pull the shit up, Ryan. Research Pull department. Up. Where he went, Ryan? I don't know. But he left. Black Panther shit. <laughs> <laughs> you think you quit? Too much press. I, all right, y'all. See you guys tomorrow. He quit. <laughs> he cried all the way home. See you guys tomorrow. Uh -oh. I can't believe they went through that. <laughs> Boy, Ryan. Ryan, find this shit with them, get them white dudes up, fake kill Bigfoot and act work. Cause I know, but see, one thing I know about you, you a goof ass motherfucker, but I don't yeah. give a fuck, bro. Who your favorite comedian? I ain't gonna lie to you. Richard, <laughs> Richard Pryor was my favorite. My daddy was watching Richard Pryor all the time. Dude. Hell yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? But in the new age, you feel my own? It's like you and Dizzy Bank type shit. I appreciate it, my boy. Cause you, I, I see, I see your club, Niggas, don't act like I ain't fucking sitting up. No, this is bullshit. You know, I'm a young nigga too, man. You feel me? Let me find, let me find out. I ain't gonna lie to God, though. I'm saying, this my favorite shit, though. I'm just like, I ain't just say that shit. Like, this my favorite. Like, all three of you niggas, you, you know, Chico Bean, like. Man, I laugh at all the niggas. Don't even mention me in the in the conversation. Yeah. I'm saying, man, what you mad at that nigga? No. <laughs> Hell no. That's what I was saying, nigga. I be laughing at them niggas too. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's a motherfucking goat. That's what I'm saying, that nigga. Real. We got a generation of 13 of the greatest motherfuckers ever. For real though. Shit. Real, we could have kings all over this motherfucker. I wish everybody made me laugh the way these niggas that you named make me laugh. It's a whole bunch of niggas out here that, that's funny to me. Yeah, yeah. And I'ma make sure that they know that I think so, nigga. I ain't no hating that nigga. I want to see my nigga get all they deserve, man. Shit, everything. This nigga one of the, this the only motherfucker 
that can make you laugh without saying shit. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't got to say shit. I know this nigga, so when we look at each other, I already know what he said, <laughs> and I just agree with it. I'm like, right, right. You want me to say it for you? Because <laughs> you, you can say it for us, I don't care. Can they go get the, they go, it might be a different perspective, but it's the same thing. Nigga. What? <laughs> Have you ever seen him, like, in a racist act? Yeah. Or when he feel like he been his racist attack on him? <laughs> oh, that Oxford, Mississippi shit come out. Oh, I know why. They don't want a nigga in <laughs> here. I'm like, what? Lois, <laughs> you are in the civil rights movement. What the fuck? I'm like, that boy, that he bad. <laughs> All he needed is some church shoes, but <laughs> that little tap, that boy bad. <laughs> he do what? He I'm telling you. I feel like he live for that shit. No, I don't, bro. Fuck it. What they gonna do? I'm just waiting for a racist attack. I ain't waiting on shit. I'm ready for one of them racist motherfuckers. I'm not. I'm gonna play my music as loud. I want you to say something to me. I'm like, look, come out. No, fuck that, fly. I've been waiting for this moment all my life. Let me tell you, you motherfuckers, motherfuckers, one thing. You saltine cracker. You like, what is? Oh, I'm gonna call him every cracker in there. You fucking Pringle chips. You. <laughs> I'm like, no, don't do it. He said, no, I ain't got to the grandkids yet. <laughs> like, that's what he live for, OG. Bruh, I, I'm oh, way dang. too half of this shit. I'm too <laughs> half. Hey, hold on, hold up. Nah, because you don't see what I'm looking at. I'm like, at the perspective that I'm sitting there, right? I can right. see straight through that door. You see that fucking mannequin shit right there? Bruh, I seen that mannequin last night. Do you day. see that shit? Open that door right there. You gonna see exactly what I'm talking like about. Me. They look like a motherfucker standing right there looking at me. Hey. And then it's against a white oh. background. And then it's a white mannequin. Exactly. Did you see that? that caught that his eye? Me up. It's a white mannequin. You telling me we can't get no black mannequins? He find the first white thing. But he said, he said, wait a minute, wait a minute. This might fuck y'all up. But Bruh. this is a coincidence that this door is it, open. It's a, but I'm saying it's a white man <laughs> right on that bitch. <laughs> That's got me fucked up. <laughs> and nigga stop there and make whole cut tail with cut. I just want to make sure I ain't tripping. <laughs> open that door. <laughs> is, 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 is that a white man that cannot see? Oh, geez. In this black establishment? <laughs> y'all ain't learned nothing. <laughs> Take, take the head off that motherfucker. <laughs> Pass me a leg. Hey, you see how this nigga do me, man? Pass me a motherfucking leg. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Take dude. the fingers off. We you don't want it to stick. That white man, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, but that had me. I was tripping a little bit because that door was cracked perfectly. <laughs> I see a white wall, and then it's just a shadow of a white body. Hey, that man. Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Am I tripping or am I high? Because this door is slightly open. And I know I'm seeing out my left eye. But if I close my right eye, I'm staring at the door. But at my left eye, ain't that a white mannequin? No, I, I can see it out of both eyes, man. <laughs> Take the head off and pass me a lead. Both eyes. <laughs> Make sure you go get you one of these. I don't, yeah, your ear is still cold. <laughs> but live for that shit, I'm telling you. No, man, don't do me like that, Fly. You got to be aware and alert, man. You got to watch what's going on around you. <laughs> That's hilarious, bro. I'm telling you, don't be the victim. Real you don't want to goddamn be the victim all the time. Yeah. I already know you mogul status. It's a rap. Hmm? I said, I already know you mogul status. It's a rap. Niggas really ain't fucking with you. How old you been, young? 24. Nah, nigga. I just made it 24 February. Man, yeah. Well, listen, listen, that young nigga. I've been 24 before. Um, just listen. It shit just about to get good. I'm telling you, you're almost there. I be feeling old. No, it, hell no. Don't shit get old. Oh my. Don't shit get old. You feel me? Don't nothing get old. Every, every, you know, shit just be in a different phase of, of where it's supposed to be at. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker can't get old until, like, when you old, that means you ain't where you're supposed to be in life. You supposed to graduate and go and get out the way and let them young niggas have it. You feel me? 
That's why a lot of these niggas is out here looking old. Yeah. Because they ain't in their lane. They ain't even where they supposed to be. Exactly. It's why when you, it's just like you say, no, nah, I'm just gonna stay right here. I like this spot, nigga. You got to move on. Cause there's some young nigga coming for that spot. You gotta let them have it. You feel me? That's why nigga be like, what he doing with them young hoes? Not knowing that the, he, he, the, he the game in that. Like you ain't pimping cause you got a young bitch. The young bitch got game cause she got them. She running you. You can't keep up with no young bitch. There's no old nigga. You feel me? And just like a young nigga, if he got an old bitch, you feel me? It's cause she let him be that. He ain't never tricked her to be, you feel me? That's the part that be missing when you 24. You gotta understand that the game don't never change. It's just the players. Yeah, real. Yeah, it's a lot of pitfalls that you gotta avoid. You feel me? It's a whole lot of niggas that started. It ain't a whole lot of niggas that done finished though. I done seen niggas just stop right there. They didn't just stop. It just like, they ain't even seen the rest of life. They just stopped right there. They were just like, kept going. yeah, some niggas don't get old. They just be older. <laughs> <laughs> real talk though. Yeah, that That's real. real shit. Yeah, your age ain't got shit to do with how fast you can grow up. See, like, knowledge ain't shit, but how many times you can use common sense. You feel me? What the fuck you gonna learn everything for and don't never use it? <laughs> Need room to grow. How many times can you apply the shit that you know? That's what make you intelligent. But intelligent is only the motherfucking, the sense to use the knowledge. You feel me? Anybody can be smart if they talking about some shit they know about. But everybody ain't intelligent. Intelligent is just like being a millionaire of being smart. You get what I'm saying? It like you can be smart a thousand times, now you like a smart millionaire. So that's how you get intelligent. And then once you <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then once you get knowledge, that's like, like smart a thousand times. That's like a billionaire. So once you hit the billionaire status, that's knowledge. See, when you got knowledge, you can give intelligence to anybody. Yeah. Smarts is just common sense. It's levels. Exactly. Smart, intelligent, and then knowledge. knowledge. See, knowledge, knowledge is how you use all the intelligence and the smarts. And wisdom is knowing the difference between intelligence and motherfucking knowledge. Wisdom. Yeah, no, so, wisdom, so wisdom over knowledge though, right? Yeah, wisdom. Yeah, wisdom. <laughs> is what you trying to achieve. Knowledge is the quest to seek the wisdom. I like that. They were real. Yeah. Smart is just how you move. Mm -hmm. See, when you smart, that's like walking. Then when you get intelligent, that's like really like you sprinting. I feel like wisdom But then when you like get to crawling. the knowledge. Like, like, like wisdom, wisdom stick with you, knowledge what you just learned. <laughs> knowledge is the reason. Wisdom is the reason why we sitting here right now. But we had the knowledge to be sitting here. But we smart enough to be sitting here. Smart but we intelligent enough to, intelligent enough to keep people watching it. Right. Oh, oh yeah. You see what I'm I spoke with it. You hear me? Yeah. yeah. The world, and I had to tell you this in an old nigga voice. Mm -hmm. good. I can tell you this shit hurt. You don't need no water. This don't hurt. Okay. You know why? I felt it for you. <laughs> because I have the knowledge of how to do this. And I have the wisdom to know how long to do, do it, it for. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, I feel but I was intelligent enough to learn how to do it without it hurting me. Mm. But it's helping you. Mm. It's, smart. <laughs> <laughs> it's helping and hurting me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it don't hurt. It ain't, it's not, it, I'm not straining nothing. See, that's what happens when you do some shit authentically and you ain't got to force nothing. Talk See, it shit. don't hurt you. You could just do that shit. Yeah. And then do it again. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the difference between knowledge and wisdom. So that white now, a lot of that niggas white. gonna see me do that, <laughs> and they not gonna be intelligent enough to figure out what I'm doing. They gonna be smart enough to copy it, but they ain't gonna have the wisdom of what to do with it. That is hilarious. For real, though. No, for real. That's facts. Real shit. Yeah, a lot of it was. Facts. Yeah, like, like 99 point. 
Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how it is in the trap, yeah. OMB PZ. For so. Sometimes we just break out and speak things that need to be said. Keep going, baby. Yeah. <laughs> tonight, tonight we shall ride. 285, make an exit off Cascade. Make a left and go down past the Kroger. Past the JR Crickets. There's a land only, only the real can go. Some of the most beautiful women from the west sides of Atlanta. The south side, and God be rude. Hey, what do they talk about? You didn't tell me they love. <laughs> oh, it's a beautiful place. I saw the food you were eating from the magical place called the Blue Flame. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me tell you about the flames of blue. <laughs> The dreams that can come true in that place. Back in the back by the pool room. Yeah. Yes, yes, it was nice. She was thick as a leather couch. <laughs> I knew she had been at work long because her titties were cold from sweat earlier. <laughs> and I was doing so well until the DJ came on and said, shout out to my nigga Carlos Miller from Wild and Loud. <laughs> And then I was surrounded in a sea of strippers and I was clutching my money and I lost I lost the stripper that I was with. The big fine woman! He said I was clutching my money and I lost I was clutching my money so tightly, ever so tightly. <laughs> He said I was cutting my money so tightly. Ever so tightly. Yeah, dude, stupid, bruh. That nigga done thought. That nigga done thought. You the one that I got no mind, bro. Bruh, I love this shit, bruh. No, bro. man, I'm telling you it's true. Ever since March has started and Black History Month has ended, white women have been in pursuit of me. Yeah. It's like they waited. Why would they wait? There was never a time to fuck me and be in February. So we can make black history. Do you not want to be part of black history? Do you not? Oh shit. Is that not your reason for requesting me? Ma'am, ma'am, I'm requesting you to my chambers for service. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta start telling the motherfucker that. I'm requesting you at the chambers for service. You don't know what the fuck. You need my bedroom, bitch. Get Report to my quarters at once. You retarded, man. Bro, you'll do some acting shit too, like that. Like some. Some medieval shit? Yeah, some period pieces like that. Hey, yeah, I get down with the bullshit. You'll do that shit, pieces? Yeah. You gonna do some acting, bro? I don't know about the uh, medieval shit, though. What? <laughs> y'all know my ass ain't fucked up. Bro, if y'all look up and see me on HBO, don't say nothing. <laughs> they been and gave me a show about black oh, vampires. God. To pimp a bitch! <laughs> it's to love a whore. <laughs> and to love a whore. <laughs> it's to die. <laughs> to die in the flames as you once were. Be gone! <laughs> I don't want to see you again, Brother John, until you've brought me his face. <laughs> Tonight we shall ride. We shall ride to the West of Inns. <laughs> the West of Inns. <laughs> the A West diabolical of... plan I'll have. <laughs> HBO gonna call. We want that. What is that call? Oh god. You might win. Bullshit. Bro, they had a whole show called True Blood about made up shit. They had vampires, werewolves, fairies, motherfuckers who knew magic. They had a magical gay black dude on there. No. This motherfucker made gumbo and saved all the white people. I was like, this is the touch of racism. Right, right, right. <laughs> then y'all tried to hide it with the werewolves and the yeah, fairies yeah, and yeah. shit, and ain't nobody saying that. Bullshit. And plus, they let them live through the whole shit, so. Bullshit. It is. <laughs> yeah, <nah. laughs> we gotta use this platform more. It's a lot of it's a lot of bullshit out here, man. That's getting people rich. And they are, if they just gonna keep making it, they gotta put us in some of it. I want my cut. 
bro. Where's my cut? I just wouldn't cheat, chat, bro. Like a big guy mad, bro. Who? I'm just a big guy mad. You know how the bitch trying to get the money up out of you, so she she walked up on me, she doing all that little shit. You know, they touching the show, they doing all that yeah. shit. I'm like, man, come on that stupid ass shit, man. What's pop? You feel me? It was going on. She like, uh, you wanna dance? I'm like, baby, I don't even come to shit like that. <laughs> I ain't even That's how I be. I'm I'm not finna do the festivities. I'm not finna do this. But I said it was pop. I'm finna go, bitch, I don't give a fuck. Bye. <laughs> Don't trick that nigga out of your money, huh? <laughs> Go on, walk over that nigga, shit on his shoulder. Get your ass on, man. It depends on, on how I'm feeling, though. Cause sometimes I throw money, but I, I want to be throwing money. I want yeah, to I just be throwing money for the, for the money. I want him to move. Yeah, if I'm going to throw money, I'm in the mood for yeah, throwing money. Yeah, throwing money. That's what I'm going to I'm in the mood to throw money before I even get in the yeah. club, bitch. I'm not yeah. making my yeah. mind heat up inside. Yeah. Bitch, I can't even eat. You ever got approached by the wrong stripper? Hell I can't eat. The wrong one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, damn it. You want to dance? You think I want to dance from you? By everybody. <laughs> but Chit Chit ain't got them. Ugh, I ain't gonna lie. Chit ain't got them goddamn. Don't say it. Them. Don't 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 do them I mean, like that. Don't do got, it. Don't do it. You said Chit Chit. They, they got don't, some fine hoes, but they got like them little. Oh, <laughs> man, they're built like me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how they move. I said, bitch, he ain't gonna get no money, but she showed that pussy. I said, I, I got a girl. <laughs> She be like, oh, this ain't what you want, right? I be like, man, let me go get in 20. This bitch that show with this pussy. <laughs> All right, come on, get in the dub. You got a little fat monkey, but you ain't gonna yeah. get in the dub. Stripper be petty like that, too. I thought you said you ain't want no dance. I didn't want one from you. Oh, man. I don't like your knees. <laughs> they hired me. I said $20 a day. I remember one time I gave me the dub. And I, I'm talking about DJ switch the song ASAP. I said, hold up, now. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I took my dub, like I said, now that, 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 this for this one. Now, you know, he tried to change it over. <laughs> I need this to be this song. This shit like a jukebox, bitch. You just don't change on the dub. You need, you need the day go. Oh, yeah. ain't gonna be fucked. <laughs> So that dude, man, ASAP, you bullshit. <laughs> when I took it back, she started dancing too. She was like, oh, what's wrong? <laughs> One time I'm I... Like, that bitch stopped dancing ASAP. <laughs> I had to stop a strip from dancing because she had scratched a mosquito bite. Oh, shit. And I could see where the bump was on her leg. Oh, I was, yeah. I was straight after this one. I'm straight. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Straight she after stopped. this one. Yeah, you can go on here. I'm straight after you can go and pick up. You can pick up. You can pick up, though. Nice. Yeah. Cause she had one on her back and one on her leg. I was like, them just get the tan her ass up. I yeah. gotta get out of here. It's rough. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> you straight? Yeah, me and song. I'm good, I'm good. Good. It be here. It be itch. It be itch. She ain't need dance no more. It be itch. She irritated. <laughs> She frustrated, she need a break. Bruh, I seen a stripper uh, go change clothes and put a different wig on and wouldn't even answer to the name she just left. <laughs> like, Spice! Spice! I'm sugar now. I like, look, see? I can't stand this fucking club, man. I'm, <laughs> I miss the strip club a little bit. I miss, I miss being able to see about 40 titties at the same time. I miss it when, 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 when the tourists go home, they go home. Cause I know the days to go in. I ain't been. When they in there. I ain't been, been since the shit went locked down. I ain't been since. Been locked down for how long? Like shit. Been, shit, been. I ain't. I ain't probably hadn't been in a, a year since then. Mm -hmm. Last time I went to the strip club is when we was in Florida. When you hosted that shit that yeah. night. That's the last time I been. Hey, people, like, oh, we can't even say nothing now, cause boy, niggas in there going trip. That's why I like the eighty-five shit. <laughs> that nigga act like got there the hangover when they go to the spot like that. <laughs> Every time we out of town, nigga, nigga, nigga. this is an adventure. Yeah. Like, man, you never see no titty before? Who nigga be in there like, woo, we living? I'm like, but y'all is tripping. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm glad we ain't got no crew of niggas like that, though, Nigga bro. throw one dollar Like, we done went all over <laughs> America, and ain't nobody <laughs> married no strippers or no Waffle House waitresses or nothing. What you say? I said, ain't nobody married no strippers on the road or no Waffle House waitresses or nothing yeah. crazy. I'm, was, I'm glad we ain't got- It was some potential. Yeah, talk. Don't I'm say it. It was impossible. It was almost. What's y'all what's y'all favorite place to go? Don't do that. Everywhere. Stop holding her hand. I love all them motherfuckers. Yeah, what? Everywhere. 
<laughs> Nigga, they be showing us love take, like a month. Look at this shit. Man, we be getting... I was looking at the pistol when I came in. Bro, we get love. I was looking at them like a ball, bro. She thought. My auntie was. Th- I'm talking about like she took the bitch out of the nose and hit that bitch. She was on the ice. Like, she was on the ice. Oh, it's on the ice. Everybody was like, hell no. Nah. Look, he was auntie like she know she trippin'. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gotta put some more show pictures up, man. We had some wild ass shows. Yeah, hey, y'all miss my people. Yeah. Miss they missed the fuck ass. out of bro. When you going to? You I gotta go to Dallas, man. I gotta go to Dallas. I gotta go back to Texas. But see, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't go back until I got sick. Oh, shit. Yeah, y'all got me sick. Shit. You caught that shit? Hey, man, I caught that shit. Hey, man. No. I had to sit down for two weeks. Shit, for up. Smoke bread. Hey, when I got back on the road, but once I got back straight and got shook that shit back, I went back on the road. Fuck. I got the antibodies. <laughs> <laughs> that what they say. I got antibodies. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Damn. That shit is. That shit weak though, bro. That shit really. I'm just saying. That shit cool I can't to know wait you. Shit that shit cool to know you can get killed, though. You can get well, get over that shit. Hell yeah. I'm talking about hell yeah. My homeboy uncle cool. caught that shit. His nipples fell out. No. They got two right. smooth spots with nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Look like bunion bandages. <laughs> what the fuck? Hell no. Nah, cause that shit really, that shit really taking over niggas though. You feel me? And then it just really showed motherfucker how weak their immune system really is. Yeah. Yeah. You can be healthy with a weak immune system. It you ain't really got me. no, you ain't really sick, but you got a weak ass immune system. Mm-hmm. Then you caught that shit, like they couldn't even shake that shit. She just, they just let you know your, your organs and shit just ain't strong. Yeah. I'm just mad as fuck all this shit going on. This, this, I don't even know where the fuck we at right now. Bro, you could have never just showed up. Alive. You could have never yeah. showed up and be like, it's coming, the pandemic. And nigga, what? Right. Not many movies they done made about this shit I gotta go back and watch. Shit. They been making movies and by, TV. By they done had a whole TV series about this type of shit for 15 seasons. This, this we, we really in The Walking Dead. Oh, mm-hmm. The motherfucker mm-hmm. just dropped what you supposed to do in case of a zombie apocalypse. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That if you let them fucking zombies get you, you, you know, just... I'm from the hood. I done been bit by a couple of zombies. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna come out with the zombie vaccine next. We well, gotta think about it. The chicken pot came. They, they had the vaccine. Right Everybody didn't take the chicken pot vaccine. And all of a sudden, chicken pot gone. Shit. Now you just, now you got, what happened with chicken pot? Yeah, what happened with chicken pot? Red, you had chicken pot? Red dot. I had that on. shit too. I had that shit too. And the crazy thing is you don't know where the fuck you got them from. You just woke up with them bitches one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's like you was already gonna get them at some point. You like real little spot. You nigga walk around here look like real Dalmatian. That shit is fucking crazy. That shit was crazy. Yeah, you just wake up with chicken pot. You like you you didn't go to bed with them bitches. Mm-mm. That shit crazy. And they were contagious. As fuck. Yeah. That shit was crazy. You touch somebody. Yeah. You ever see the motherfucker get him? You be like, oh shit! You look crazy. You ever see some of them stupid motherfuckers scratching the bitch off their face, and they ain't got them dick marks all in their shit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what happened to you? You got hit in the head? Nah, I hate chicken pox. You can't even go like, to school. Like, damn, bitch, you ain't about five of them You can't even go to school with chicken, bro. Uh-uh. Hell no. That shit was crazy back then. That was in the 90s. 90s. They, tried to, they tried that shit back then, but it wasn't effective like that. They done had plenty of vaccines and shit, though. Polio. Eat what about Ebola? You remember that Ebola. was the shit? That was the shit before this. But they said the Ebola was worse than yeah, Corona, though. Know. They stopped it ASAP. I'm glad. That was me too. They were like, they don't realize we're down the dead type they shit. They need to stop this shit in its tracks. I just feel like this is a cover up. Though. No, I don't know what the fuck going no, on. No, I mean, it's, it's, it's hey, a man, virus, but it's Whatever a need to fucking happen for I this shit to be gone, going on, though, this shit need to happen. They doing the face recognition. Yeah, they, that what they it trying is. trying to be able to read your eyes, man. They want to read your eyes. Fool. Fuck I just it. did this shit. I'm trying to, I just did this shit when I just went to see it right Damn. Dude. They trying to read your eyes, fool. That's what they it is. They got a new thing in that bitch. I've been going to jail all my life. I ain't never seen this shit. Nigga, they right. got a thing. They're like this. You got to step to it. And then read your eyes. So I ever, asked ever the, I asked to see I'm like, shit, this for, uh, I'm like, this for facial recognition. Like, type shit. He like, yeah, yeah, this is the new shit they got. We had this for 10 days. Nigga said, 10 days. I'm so you just got it. They trying to make it to where you walk in the store or you rob a store or do anything on camera with a mask on, they going to be able to notice you. Mm-hmm. To read With your, your eyes. eyes. Like, yeah. now your eyes can be yeah. identified. Because you got to leave your eyes out that mask. Right. They already got my shit. I be either on the airport. 
shit, bro. Ain't that's what I my, think it is. Right. I, 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 I was scared to do the face recognition, so I was like, I need a fucking phone. Then I was like, shit, what the fuck am I in my face? Well, what look, man, if they doing all this shit, why don't they just listen when I tell them that I ain't doing none of this I'm shit? Telling, I'm telling they don't you listen. Nigga. They don't trust me. Like, nigga, you been watching me. You seen what the fuck I been going on? All this surveillance. Did I make the clearance list yet? God damn. I'm trying to rap I could. Come on, man. These motherfuckers. Whoever nigga, nigga, watching, good, wholesome lives, whoever watching my foul is bored. Like, this nigga don't be doing shit. I'm a civilian, my nigga. Bro. I'm really a civilian. I'm lame as fuck. <laughs> I'm lame in here. I they got a job. They probably laughing like a motherfucker watching <laughs> me, bro. Yeah. This nigga watches that midget <laughs> porn again. Yeah, I'm oh, I'm sorry. I ain't mean to say the M word. Little people. Man, I'm lame in here, man. I live, I live a decent life, man. That's all I want to do. I'm not looking on my show. I don't do shit. Man, it's, yeah, exactly. Fuck it. You did. Ain't you no know I just want to give me some money. Hell no. He just smoke switch, huh? I mean, fuck one, cause this shit got me wheezing out. See? I'm motherfucking oh, backwood. Back this shit too strong, gang, Violet. <laughs> For real. We fuck with him. Shout out to Backwood. Backwood's got a hold of the hood. I got another pack. Mm-hmm. See? What I was gonna say. This shit just is the hardest smoke. This shit hit though. What's the name of the new tape? Too deep for tear. Yeah, let them folks know where they can go get that shit at. Right? Oh, yeah, when they can go get it. Yeah, well, you know, Apple Music, Spotify, wherever, right now. Yeah, you know, everything digital, so you gotta be here or not. Right. You, know, you gotta have your music. Yeah, well. You said something earlier. You said you had to learn how to rap on them California beats. Yeah. yeah. Do you still fuck with those California type um, beats and shit like that? No, no, because I feel like that was a stage. You know? right. I feel like that was right. a stage. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not, cause I, I felt like I was getting too like in depth with the Bay Area sound. Mm. And you couldn't yeah. really get your shit. You was just adapting the way you was at. Yeah, mm. type shit. So I just wanted to get back to them. Like, you know what I'm saying? That had beat up. So when I was in New York, <clears throat> I felt my way. I felt doing a lot of New York shit. I said, nah, I gotta start back recording back in the city. Mm-hmm. I gotta get back in the South. What's some of the Mr. Big songs that you fuck with the most? <laughs> Mr. Big uh, uh, <laughs> You know that guy there. She just a big bad built bone, big broke ass baby. You done drank a car like Kool Aid, won't do her. She blowing me like a heater, mouth warm as a heater. Got me sweating from land to land. About to rip my two seater, bitch on knees. I got my own car, my own clothes. Fuck you, fuck everybody. Who and fuck Tyrone? I rub a low live propeller on the top of the yellow. Jump out the bridge, bitch, you have another. What he said, he was talking shit. I what like, Mr. Big, stay okay. talking shit. Boy, yeah, bitch, you still shit. <clears throat> your your mama ain't, ain't shit, shit. Oh, and you yeah, ain't shit, but the dope man, man bitch. Oh, you still stay <laughs> shit, your mama ain't shit, and you ain't nothing but the dope man bitch. <laughs> <laughs> They say everywhere I go and everywhere I be, they all wanna know one thing. Can they get my dick for free? I tell them no, no you can't. First you gotta buy me a drink. I know you're mad, but that's cool. But I'm a whole baby just like you. Uh-huh. Yeah, whole baby. <laughs> hey, Mr. Whoa, Big got them motherfucking hits, bro. Yeah. Man, peace, man. We appreciate you being on the show, guys. I appreciate you having me. I don't know. You hit me, you say, yeah. bro. Say, can you get me on? I say, what? Come on, gang, buy this. Yeah, man. Damn. Yeah, shit. Come on, gang, buy this. Keep doing your motherfucking thing, bro. We fuck with you over here on the 85 South you, Show, man. Hey, and when you said this a TV show, nigga, we can't let you down. Yeah, I, don't lie, I appreciate you, though. No, like, we just... real shit? No, I'm some real shit. You genuinely checked on a nigga, you feel me? You know, people like, you straight, you feel me? I'm like, yeah, I'm straight, you feel me? Keep on pushing, you know it, nigga. Look at me, type shit. Yeah, man. Man. Straight type man. shit. Like, man, that, that type of shit make a nigga fuck with a nigga forever type right. shit. Right. Like, real talk, like on a personal level type shit. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right now. Real shit, bro. Well, you know where we at, man. We gotta make sure we get you in some of this dope ass shit. Hey, man. Oh, yeah, I need that. Brother, bro, Got to. the hood, bro, come on, man, the hood, the hood made us bring the Roach Exterminator shirt back. Hey, ain't he gonna cap? We ain't coming to kill the Roaches, we just gonna spray something, they gonna make them go to sleep. <laughs> come day. You think they gone and they come back like, man, what the fuck we been on? <laughs> yeah.
We're just gonna be down for a couple days. <laughs> we ain't no killers, you dig? They gonna wake you up dig? hungry than the motherfucking too. For real. Yeah, so make sure you hit the website and, and grab you some merch, man. Y'all fuck with OMB Pizza. This is the 85 South Show. And we are out of here. We got our job. Man, that shit is so funny, bro. Boy. Man. The skydiving oh, shit. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the skydiving shit. The skydiving shit was hilarious, bro. <laughs>